Hello everyone. Today in this video we are gonna see the difference between managed and unmanaged network switch. But before we discuss the details about network switches, let's first understand what a switch is and what it is used for. A network switch is a smart and efficient device that establishes connections among various devices within a local area network. This device is trained at receiving signals from interconnected devices and then directing those messages to their intended destinations. In addition to that, switch manages the flow of data across the network. So basically network switch is used to improve network bandwidth, reduce the load of personal computers, facilitate real-time communication across network hardware and software, enhance network efficiency. Okay, now the main differences between managed and unmanaged switches are control and performance, features, cost, security, and scalability. Managed switches have more capability than unmanaged switches. They provide better control of networks and the data frames moving through them. On the other hand, unmanaged switches enable connected devices to communicate with one another in their most basic form. Now let's discuss them one by one. Managed switches come with a certain level of complexity and require skilled network administrators to manage them effectively. They allow users to adjust each port on the switch to any setting, enabling them to manage, configure and monitor the network in many ways. They provide greater control over the network. For example, how data should travel across the network and who can access that data. So at the most basic level, managed switches facilitate seamless communication among network devices by giving administrators greater control to effectively manage local area network traffic. This smart switch assumes the role of controlling both data transmission and security access across the network, achieved through the implementation of simple network management protocol. By utilizing SNMP, a managed switch systematically controls the various devices interconnected within the network. This protocol empowers network administrators to proactively monitor and configure the network status, which is visually represented through a graphical user interface. Managed switch empowered by SNMP continuously watches the status of individual switch ports. This monitoring contains factors such as traffic throughput, port operational status and the identification of network errors. By allowing network devices to actively communicate, SNMP is a significant tool in the detection and resolution of network issues. Moreover, a managed switch introduces redundancy, therefore minimizing the chances of downtime that could disrupt network operations. It is also important to note that managed switch effectively allocates high value bandwidth ensuring seamless delivery of data to designated destinations without encountering interruptions. As part of its capabilities, managed switch ports are flexible in designing and configuration, which includes the establishment of trunk connections. Here are some important features of managed switch. Reliability Managed switches can be deployed across many topologies, including mesh, aggregation, and spanning tree, allowing for greater flexibility and higher security. Improved security Managed switches offer correct ways of monitoring data, passing through the network, and quickly resolving any data breaches. Device optimization Most managed switches come with quality of service features that help admins to determine device performance and troubleshoot any problem. Smooth management of large networks. Managed switches allow for remote management, software-defined network management, and supply power to endpoint devices, making them easier to work with. Now, on the other hand, unmanaged switches are also known as dump switches. As they are simply plug-and-play devices without remote configuration, management, or monitoring options, you cannot log in to an unmanaged switch nor you can read any port utilization or throughput for the device. Unmanaged switches have a fixed configuration that provide Ethernet devices with network connections so they can communicate with one another. Unmanaged switches are used in small networks or add temporary groups of devices to a large network. 
to expand the number of ethernet ports and connect network hotspots or edge devices in small independent networks in contrast to managed switches unmanaged switches do not support vlans and internet group management protocol therefore all devices connected to the switch belong to the same broadcast domain it is also worth mentioning that unmanaged switches maintain a mac address table this means that unmanaged switches offer a separate collision domain for each port therefore reducing collisions and interference for more information on collision and broadcast domain you can watch my older video by clicking on the link below in description okay so coming to the topic unmanaged switches as a whole offer a user friendly approach to network connectivity seamlessly linking devices and promoting efficient data exchange within the lan environment some of the important features of unmanaged switches are plug and play easy to deploy sports simple network topologies like daisy and star chain a better option than ethernet hubs since they can store mac addresses cost effective when compared to managed switches now you must be thinking about how to choose between managed and unmanaged switches right well unmanaged switches are ideal for home offices and uncomplicated networks people who want the home network simple and do not want to spend much time on the management then plug and play unmanaged switches are the best fit for them for those seeking enhanced network security control and reliability then managed switches offer a comprehensive solution facilitating a seamless flow of data within the network architecture these are the major differences between managed and unmanaged switches that we have already discussed all right so this wraps up today's topic thanks for watching this video on the comparison between managed and unmanaged switches please subscribe to my channel for more videos